It all started here. The famous handshake on 9th of March 2018 between the then political nemesis Odium leader El Udinga and President Uru Kenyatta. The two dropped their political headlines in a bid to unite the nation. This led to the birth of the Building Bridges Initiative and a task force was then formed by the two leaders to collect views from Kenyans on what they wanted addressed in order to forge a peaceful future for the country. <laughs> on the 27th of November last year, President Huru Kenyatta and ODM leader El Udinga officially received the report at the Bombers of Kenya, which saw over 6,000 delegates drawn from all over the country troop to the venue. <laughs> After the bombers, it was now up to the task force to conduct civic education and rally Kenyans towards understanding and to an extent support the report's recommendations. But it came the politicians taking over the responsibilities of the task force and championing the report through rallies termed consultative forums. Again, the people who are to benefit from the document seldomly talk about BBI, leaving it to the lips of politicians. That left many questions unanswered, like do Kenyans really understand what's entailed in the BBI report or what is their opinion about it? I BBI. I the best initiation kitukayo president uru kenyatta while receiving the report in november last year at the bombers of kenya had promised that by january this year copies of the report would be made available for all kenyans to read it for themselves to date that has not happened the only thing I know about BBI is building bridges initiative. That's the only thing to make a past. It make a past from the leaders and media kwe to see civilian. We know it's those vitu zingine nyawa to jui. It's like building bridges. Which kind of bridges? That is the question I always ask myself every day. Where? Politicians have been over time accused of hijacking the process in order to gain political mileage, considering the euphoria witnessed at the Kisi and Bukungu Stadium rallies, where turnout and speeches sound more like campaigns rather than a tutorial on BBI. Sababu katika zile mikutano miwili ambayo imefanyika ya kisiasa ya Kisi na Bukungu, nafasi ya BBI imekuwa chache sana katika hiyo mazungumzo. Let's bring this thing to wananchi. Let them read it. Let them understand. Then we can uh, look for opinion. You know when you, like it's like unaza mtoto ajazaliwa na umaza kupinga. Ujui mtoto ni msichana ama ni kijana. Leaders have however rubbished claims of them hijacking the BBI. The task force has a set deadline to deliver their mandate, but the lack of the physical document and civic education drives or public awareness rallies on the report could be an impediment for Uhuru and Raila to achieve their aspired objectives that they hoped would change the nation. Victor K24 Evening Edition.